Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this Total War Warhammer information video about the upcoming sequel for Total War Warhammer. Now, we knew there was going to be a trilogy for this game, and we knew that it'd be around this time as when you'd be expecting to hear information for it, but I have a date for you. I am 90% certain that the 31st of March this month, what was it, when CA are at EGX Rest, they're going to be announcing the next game in this franchise. And I've got a lot of reasons, I've been thinking this for at least the past week, ever since CA made a post on their Facebook and on their Twitter. Now I can't find the tweet and the post at the moment, but I will have the ones I want to talk about later on. I have found them. They said a specific word. They said there was going to be an announcement during their session on the 31st. And they specifically used the word series. To me that means more than it's going to be a DLC. Yes, it could have meant that it was just going to be the next thing in the DLC series for Total War Warhammer. But they just said Warhammer series. So that makes me think it is almost guaranteed to be the second Warhammer game. But that is not all I'm going on. I have found a retweet that I was meaning to show you for this video as well. Hopefully you are seeing it on screen right now. And it's from PC Gamer who have announced saying that Warhammer 2 is in the works and in the pipeline. So we are getting information about it already as well, which is starting to show up and we're like, hmm, information, why they're talking, PC Gamer are talking about it. What is new? Because we've all known this for a long time. And even more new stuff. Now, the other day, I'm going pretty fast because I want to get through this section pretty fast. The other day, CA updated their what the teams are working on. And, well, it was yesterday actually, that because I'm, I'm looking at it right now, the 17th for the third 2017. So yesterday they updated it. And straight away, scroll down and I'm going to show you the new content team, Total War Warhammer, DLC and Free LC. Obviously, I'm just going to read that, quote it out now to you. Obviously, the new content team have been very busy recently working on both Isabella von Karstein as well as our bigger free LC, Bretonia, both of which are now available to download and enjoy here. Bretonia, in particular, has been really popular and we are pleased by the passionate response. While the majority of the dev team is busy working on DLC and free LC content plans for the sequel, Given the success of our DLC so far, we're also looking for further possible content for our current games. Now to me, that suggests that they're not currently working on anything for the current games. The DLC team are not working on anything. And so, it looks like we've reached the end of the DLC cycle for... and DLC slash free DLC cycle for Total War Warhammer. They're looking for further possibilities, but to me that sounds like it's done. They're hoping to make something else for the current Warhammer, but we've got all we're gonna get. Garan we've got all we're guaranteed to get, and so that is that in comparison. Comparison in conjunction with the series it was talking about earlier. Makes me 90% sure what's going to be announced is a new, the second part to the trilogy. Um, it is possible that the DLC team has finished another DLC and that's what they're going to announce. But if they'd already finished it, why have they not even announced it yet? If it's already sitting in their PCs finished, why is it not being announced? Why is it not coming out in a couple of days? You could argue maybe it's to do with Res, and they wanted something big and hype and juicing for Res. They just they finished it and they're saving it for that. But I'd, I'm clinging on to the definitely saying that that we have got pretty much all we're guaranteed to get, but they're hoping to make more. Now we'll scroll down and we'll read the Warhammer team Total War Warhammer trilogy. 
Excitement continues to build among the developer development team as the second part of the trilogy comes together, particularly as the distinctive races take shape and their and their physicals and their playstyles solidify in the campaign and battle. We are equally excited about the prospect of sharing details about the game's gigantic scale and content with our community and wider fan base. As to those plans come. T- as those plans come together as a parallel, as always, our social media channels, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, have all the latest Total War Warhammer news when it when the time is right. Now, what can we take from this? It means they're pretty... It means they're about the stage that they were at with Total War Warhammer the second that they were at with Total War Warhammer the first when they announced the game. They've got the basic playstyles down, they've got the basic campaign down, the basic battle stuff all down, and it's just about getting it all in game. When I'm talking about they've got it down, I mean they've got it planned. They've got it all ready, it just needs to be implemented in game, it just needs to be obviously balanced, all the artwork and all that needs to be made, yada yada yada. But they've got the basic sort of plan down of what everything's going to be and they're starting to put stuff in game. At least that's what it sounds like to me and when they're talking about their social media they're saying this to me is sort of a cry out look it's coming soon stay watching this space kind of thing and so when you put this all together I can't see how it can be yeah, well, yeah, it's possible, but I really, really doubt it. And so, yeah, and also I'd like to just point out that another thing i like to look at is the Black Ops tax team. It's new as well, an unannounced Total War title. As you may have read in the last update, we've reduced... Well, basically, they've got a few veterans from, like, Jack Lusted, from Rome and Attila, and they're looking to see if they can get a third load of Total Wars on the go, so they've got the historical Warhammer and then these unannounced Total War title series, whatever it is, um, they're looking into seeing if they could get a third sort of branch. So you've got the historical, which is their, like their main, their trunk, there we go, that's the word I was looking for, they've got the historical Total Wars, which is like their trunk, and now we've got this branch coming off that's the Warhammer Total Wars, it looks like they're looking to get another branch, or maybe just double up on the trunk, I don't know, but that's not what this video's about, we're not going to talk about that much more, but I just thought it was really nice to mention in there, um, links to the article will be in the description. So with all that done and dusted, I just wanted to re-go over my theories for what the second game will be. I made these theories back before the first Total War Warhammer was released, and so far they've been accurate. Because back then we didn't have the map that was going to be implemented in Total War Warhammer 1, and I got it pretty much spot on. I remember at the time everyone was going, no, that's stupid, we're not going to get the whole of the Empire. The whole gameplay will be boring as hell. There's no Chaos, there's no Bretonia, we're just going to get the Empire around Sylvania and the mountains and some of the Badlands. And that's all the map's going to be, that's what the main theory was and that's what people were saying to me. And I was like, no, 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 they're having free games. What was it? They need this map to ha- be huge. They need. I was saying that we were gonna get to around Kislev or the borders with Chaos, which is what I remember saying roughly. Then I said we we're gonna get all the way to Bretonia. Then I remember saying we we're gonna get all the way to sort of roughly where the game is ending. I remember my map I thought of was almost exactly accurate. I didn't think it'd go as south as it did. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what my theory was, and it's been proven to be pretty much true so far. So I'm going to stick to the theory I had back then, and that the game, second one, is then going to add Lustria, Ulfwan, and... Oh, what's the Dark Elf homeland? Begins with N. 
Nagarov? I think it's Nagarov. Oh, it's been a long time since I've looked into my lure and fluff. But basically, yeah, it's going to add that sort of area of the map. And it's going to have naval battles is going to be a big thing for this sequel. And that is my sort of main theory of what the second one's going to be. Then I think the third one is going to take us deeper into the chaos. It's going to take us over to the Ogre Kingdoms. And it's going to add Africa, like the Tomb Kings and that sort of stuff. So I'm expecting this map to expand to the east of the Old World and south. And the next map to expand sort of the other opposite direction. And the reason I think it'll be in that order as... I think a huge elf expansion, as it was uh, described for the second game, would be the way to go. I know a lot of people were saying stuff like... There's Raven bangs and crashes in the background. I know a lot of people were saying things like, oh, they're going to save the elves for the final part, and that's going to be a selling point. It's like, oh, finally the elves have arrived. No, no. I don't think that. I think the selling point for the second game, because we've already got the wood elves, so the selling point is not going to be, look, you can play elves now. It's going to be naval battles and all this naval stuff. The dark elves are going to be wanting to raid like mad. Um, the... High Elves are going to be sailing around fighting them. They're basically an island nation with a strong navy themselves. Bretonia is going to be getting pillaged like nothing on earth because Bretonia has it pretty good at the moment in the current state of the game because there's not a lot of threats that can handle going into Bretonia and then facing the wrath of all Bretonia. Unless you're doing it yourself, the player can pull it off, but the AI can, at least to my knowledge. Wood Elves are pretty good at it. But they're about the only ones. Beastmen can get through it as long as they don't bite off more than they can chew. But Bretonia is pretty safe at the moment. I think with the introduction of the Dark Elves, they might be getting a lot of pillaging that they weren't getting before. <coughs> oh, my throat's drying out. I've been talking for too long. Um, so yeah, the selling point for the second game for me is going to be naval battles. This big, huge focus on this new whole new aspect to the game. Also bring in like dwarf ironclads, empire ships. Um, I don't know what they'll do with beastmen because I've never heard in the lure of the beastmen going over water. <coughs> yeah, maybe they'll just be like the Huns kind of thing. They just get uh, Attila. They just didn't want to go on the water. They can. I think they can. It's been a long time since I've played Attila as the Huns, but I think they get nothing but basic transports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's enough on that then, anyway. Um, so, yes. And then I think for the third sound point of the game, the third iteration of the game, the sound point is going to be... Chaos is coming to get ye. I think that concludes the game much better than, look, here are the elves! Because um, we could. At the moment, we don't have the full Chaos faction. We have Chaos... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, my throat should be dry. Ah, that's better. We have Chaos coming in as a horde faction attacking. But I feel that we could get a lot more out of Chaos in this final expansion. We could maybe get God-specific factions, like a corn faction. We could maybe get Chaos Dwarves. There's Skaven. I don't know if they'd be in the second or the third part, but they'd go well in this sort of Chaos is coming to get ye expansion. And that is what I'm really, really excited to see if that's true, because then obviously Ogre Kingdoms, there's a few Chaos Ogres, I doubt they'd be a faction or anything, but we might get to see them. Yeah, there's already, there's Chaos Trolls is already in the game, but it might be nice to see a Chaos Ogre unit in their roster. But yes, that is the way I foresee the series and franchise going. I'm super excited for the 31st of March. I'm definitely going to be trying to get some information up on that ASAP. Hope you have all enjoyed this. What do you guys think? 
See you all next time. Bye-bye.